This is Katrin with Disability Rights New York. Welcome to our podcast, Empire State of Rights, closed captioned. We are here to bring you information on the most relevant topics regarding disability rights and advocacy. Today, we welcome DRNY staff advocates, Brenda Shannon and Sarah Hulbert. They're here to discuss New York State Commission for the Blind's due process, how to apply, and what to expect during each stage of the process. Brenda, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much for having us. Sarah, who is the New York State Commission for the Blind? So the New York State Commission for the Blind, or the acronym NYSCB, is a state agency for individuals who have lost vision, are legally blind, or are completely blind. The New York State Commission for the Blind is a vocational rehabilitation agency that assists these individuals in obtaining and maintaining employment. Um, and it's a very similar service to that of Access VR, which we've also discussed in the other podcast. And so, Sarah, quickly, we also um, we have talked about this before, but just to let our audience know, if someone is interested in using services from the New York State Commission for the Blind, they also, in some circumstances, can use Access VR. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. It would be on a case-by-case -case basis. So we do recommend that you reach out to us to check about this and to gain more information. But yes, it is on a case-by-case -case basis, but it is possible. Okay, great. And Brenda, what should someone do if they disagree with uh, a New York State Commission on the Blind and any decisions that they're making in relation to someone applying for their services? Sure. So as a client who uh, is receiving services, the client has a right to the appeals process. So if the client is receiving a denial of services or if they are unhappy with the services that they are receiving, then the client can file an appeal, which is a form that a client can fill out and they can basically write down what their issue is or what services they're seeking and are being denied. And then it gets reviewed by the commission. And Sarah, how does someone apply for the appeals process? How do they start and what should they expect? So it's pretty straightforward. A client can contact DRNY's Client Assistance Program or CAP, or they can ask their New York State Commission for the Blind Counselor for a copy of the due process appeals form, and that should be provided to them imminently when they ask. Okay, and is there a, a deadline to file due process form? Yes, for the Commission for the Blind, it is a 60-day window of time you have to appeal the decision from the initial date of the denial. We do recommend putting this on your calendar. 60 days flies by, so it is 60 days compared to Access VR's 90 days. Okay, and, and Sarah, I just want to clarify for our audience, so it's 60 days from the initial denial date. It is not 60 days from their initial application for services. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, it has to be from the decision of the denial. It's not from the decision of deciding to apply. Okay, great. And Brenda, talk to us about how someone files a due process request form. Sure. So the client can either call DRNY and the client assistance program. They can ask their local district office or their counselor for a copy of the form. You fill it out. If you need assistance with filling out the form, CAP would be more than happy to help you in assisting filling out the form. We can do this over the phone or via email. And once the form is completed, you sign it and you submit it to your, your local Commission for the Blind office. Sarah, what are the stages of the New York State Commission on the Blind's due process? So there are three stages to the Commission for the Blind's due process. The first is administrative review. The second would be mediation, and the third and final would be the impartial hearing, and it is a step ladder. We treat it as such. You can never go back down from impartial hearing to mediation or administrative review, but you can always go up from administrative review or mediation. And so it sounds like it's best to start at the administrative review process step as opposed to going right to the impartial hearing. Is that correct, Sarah? Totally. So we usually say it gives the client more chances to have their position heard. If you start with impartial hearing, you only get one chance. If you start with the administrative review, you can have up to three chances. So we definitely recommend starting at the administrative review level or the mediation level. All right. That's great advice. And Brenda, as people hear things like administrative review or even mediation and impartial hearing, 
those terms, they may feel like they need to have legal representation to move forward with due process. Is it required for someone to have legal representation in order to move through this process? Sure. So legal representation is not required. A client can go and attend due process on their own and represent themselves. They can also have an advocate, such as a family or friend, attend with them. If you want legal representation, then you can certainly have that as well, either by contacting an outside legal representation or by contacting Dear and Wine, a client assistance program. The client assistance program offers free legal representation to clients of the Commission for the Blind or Access VR. So if you're interested in receiving free legal representation, my suggestion is always to call the client assistance program and we can assess your case at that time. And Sarah, who can our audience contact if they have any further questions or concerns regarding due process and the New York State Commission for the Blind? So we welcome any further questions, comments, or concerns. You can reach us by calling DRNY's main number. That's 518-432-7861. You can also visit us at drny.org. And then you can also actually visit the Commission for the Blind website if you want to have further background from the commission itself. And DRNY's contact information and the links mentioned will be provided in the description of this podcast. Brenda and Sarah, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Empire State of Rights closed captioned has been brought to you by Disability Rights New York, your source for disability rights and advocacy. If you enjoyed our program, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this post. If there is a subject you would like us to discuss, please email podcast at drny.org or comment below. Tune in next Wednesday, where we'll bring you more information on disability rights in the state of New York. The closed captioned and ASL version of this podcast is available on our YouTube channel. To listen to more Empire State of Rights closed captioned, follow us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.